Hello and welcome to the next video in the series. In this video we're going to explore something called comments. Now before we actually learn how to use comments, we have to learn what they are. Comments are kind of like footnotes uh, in a book. You know, if you read a book and you see a number on top of a word, uh, that means that you have to look down in the footnote in the bottom of the page and it tells you tells you what that word means or something about that word, maybe the history of whatever um, you know location it's describing or something. And they're used for similar purposes, like, um, for example, the most common use for comments is reminding yourself uh, of what certain things stand for. For example, in the last video we learned how to write procedures. Well, if you have well, some really long procedure, or in a later video we're going to learn how to um, give you procedures options. You know, like, like the move mouse has two options. Well, in the later video we're going to learn how to create procedures with more than, with more than zero options. Well, in, in that case, you might want to remind yourself what those options stand for. So, you know, right above the procedure, you could create a comment that just says what each option stands for or what, what the procedure does. Another use for it is for uh, other users who might use your script. For example, if you're writing, um, you know, if you're using it for RuneScape and you're writing in Alta Minor, you might need uh, the user to tell you which which kind of rock you want them to mine, you know, coal or iron or whatever. Well, you can have a variable, let it learn what variables are, and you can just put whatever the option stands for right next to it so that the user knows what that option stands for. And the great thing about comments is that SCAR ignores them. It's kind of like white space for it. You know how SCAR ignores white space wherever, you know, if you have space here, it ignores it. Same thing with comments. If you have a comment anywhere, it just it ignores it. It doesn't see it as anything. It's just only for you. All right, now let's learn how to actually use a comment. There are two types of comments. The first kind of comment is is a one-line comment, and the second type type of comment is a multiple-line comment. This one is lasts for more than one line. You have to you have to define the beginning and end for it. To write a single-line comment, all you have to do is use two forward slashes. See how it becomes green. The green means that it's a comment. So if you see green anywhere, that means it's a comment. And you can put anything you want. Scar will ignore it. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's nothing. And you know, you can either you can even put. Um, let's try this. Let's put move mouse. Um, just random random um, coordinate. Let's run it. See, nothing happens because because move mouse is coming out. Scar doesn't see it as anything. It's just blank space for scar. But for you, you see move mouse. So if you see anything green, that means it's not it's not um, it's not going to be used by scar. Now, the second type of comment is the multiple line comment. The way you do this one is you use the open curly braces right there. And, you know, you can do however many lines you want, whatever you want to do here, and then you close it. And remember to close it. Because some people forget to close it, and then um, you know if you close it, the whole thing becomes green, and you know that it's a whole it's a comment. So Scar will give you an error because it expects a main loop at least. So that's about it for comments. Like I said, they're pretty simple and not that important, but you might as well learn them now so that later we don't have to bother with it. So I hope you found this interesting. Join me for the next video. Thanks for watching.